please. Thank you. You're welcome. What I found, welcome to Living For You, YouTube, YouTube channel, welcome back. Um, it's your favorite brother, your favorite cousin, your favorite nephew, your favorite uncle, your best friend's best friend, it's me, Dr. Larry. Welcome, y'all. So good to see you. You're looking good, despite um, what we're here for. You know, normally when you come to the table, we, you know, we are having a, a good time. And today is going to be no different. We're going to have a good time today. Um, even though today is on a somber note, usually when we get to the table, it's always a good time. Um, today is going to be a shorter video, um, but it is in relation to the sudden, unexpected, untimely passing transition um, of our brother, Kobe Bryant, Los Angeles Laker player for many years, I think 20 years, um, very popular, well-known in media. Um, he lost his life um, a few days ago in a helicopter crash along with eight other people um, with our prayers and blessings to their family as well. Um, but it does sort of hit home for many of us. As black men, we have many figures that are in our minds of those who have made it or those who have, have accomplished something of a dream of what we call in this experience of being black men. And Kobe was definitely one of those people from early on. I can speak for myself being in his age demographic within the less no no less than uh, no more than three years of an age demographic from him, I have that connection, that generational thing of growing up as I believe with him, watching him grow as I grow, and seeing his experiences, and it's kind of part of embedded popular culture and memory in my mind. So it has an impact for my generation in that regard because we're so connected through age and and experiences and the generational stuff that we went through, through the, the late 80s and the 90s and the early 2000s. So it is interesting. Um, and so it's a big rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Um, you have really cemented a legacy. So, you know, you've done a lot. And so that's what we're here to discuss, you know, um, not necessarily the um, story of Kobe Bryant's life or, or the death and all these things. We celebrate that. Um, we celebrate the life. We celebrate the legacy. But we're here to talk about how to build a legacy. You know, that is something that is not really on the minds of a lot of people my age, even older, but definitely the younger ones. And it's so important that you establish a legacy for yourself that is positive. So when you do transition, people think of you as a person that they admired, that they loved, that they missed. But it is something that you leave this planet with so strong and so powerful that your legacy will live on long, 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 even when you're gone um, from this planet. And so that's what we talk about. And of course, you know, I only ask for one few things from you. Um, and that's just simply for you to subscribe to the channel. If you're not a subscriber, welcome. We love you. You're home. You're at the table. You're with family. So go ahead and subscribe so you can continue to meet us at the table. Then also hit the notification bell so you know every time I post something, it'll be posted out there for you. Um, and like I said, my schedule is two times a week. I post on Mondays. I post on Thursdays. I intend to keep it, so I intend to see you. So go ahead and hit the notification bells. Um, you can also follow us on all, or follow me on all the social medias, us, on all the social media, uh, which is Instagram, Facebook, you know, you know what it is. It's at Dr. Larry Smith. Um, you can go there, follow. I post a lot. You get a lot of information. Um, you can go out to www.live for you coaching and get to know more information. If you want coaching, there's resources and things that are free and there are things you can get out there. If you want to schedule appointments, you can talk to me directly to go through some coaching, even if it's just dealing with this grief, that is something people get coached for. Um, if you're new, I'm Dr. Larry Smith, um, PhD. That is, um, I'm a life coach. I own a life coaching practice called Living For You Coaching. My specialization 
It's African American males who have dealt with trauma, who are still dealing with trauma, um, some some in some way in their lives to help them overcome that from the ages of 18 to 40. But coaching is universal, and the tools that I apply to my specific niche are also tools that anybody can use in their lives. So I can help anybody, but that is my target area. Um, so yeah, so welcome, welcome. So anyway, back to the discussion. We can say without a doubt that Kobe Bryant in his 41 years of life on this planet definitely cemented a legacy for himself. I've seen stories all over the news. I know stories personally of of the experience from just reading things and knowing things and being familiar with Kobe Bryant's story that um, starting from 17, he started on his path to building his legacy. And from what people say, he was very animate about building a positive legacy to leave behind. They say he was a workaholic. They said he was very ambitious, very competitive. He was a, a, a perfectionist and he set on the ambition to build the legacy that he wanted to leave behind. And he definitely, definitely did that. Um, there are, of course, people who want to bring up some of the negative aspects of things that happened in his lives and um, stories. I will not bring them up here because this is about building up, not tearing down. But what I will say is just because a, people, uh, a person has a backstory, just because a person has something in their past that doesn't look good to you, does not mean that that person's legacy is going to be dampered by that because you cannot stump out the positive with negative. If it shines bright enough, it's going to shine whether or not there are negative dark stories behind it. And that is just what it is. And Kobe Bryant's legacy shines bright enough in that he will definitely, definitely, definitely be remembered for the, more for the positive than anything else. So anybody trying to tarnish somebody's legacy, you know, let that go. But the point is, he left a legacy. And it, it's so important that we consider our own. And I know I can speak for myself during this moment. It's been a reoccurring thought in my mind that um, I have to start cementing something for myself. It actually was a thought back in April of last year. My story back in April of last year is I lost the most important person to me from childhood on in my life, my mother. And if you've ever lost a parent, you realize, especially your mother, especially mama, if you ever lost a parent, you realize that, you know, life is short because this is your all, your existence. I wouldn't exist if it wasn't for my mom. I wouldn't have been birthed into this planet. And so it's, it's a tragic loss. But for me, what it did is it pushed me into wanting to cement my legacy. And not just my legacy as in make a name for myself. Because legacy doesn't mean famous. Legacy means what people think about you and what you've left behind when you're gone. And so I don't have any children outside of my clients and my students who I hold dear as my children um, who I love. But I want to. I have nieces and nephews and, and I have family that I want to make sure if I can, I leave them in a place that doesn't allow them to struggle. I want to make sure that I am experiencing life to the fullest. So there's been things I've been doing, some of the things you will see and you will hear about, um, where I've been trying to position myself to be able to cement my destiny on my terms a lot more than it has been ever in my life. And my mom's death kind of pushed me in that direction. And I know for a lot of the people around me, and this is going to be the same thing for you, they don't understand what's going on. They're like, oh, he's lost his mind. He want to do what? You want to walk away from a job? You you want to not take a job? You want to step out and branch out and travel? What are you doing? You've lost your mind. But it's not up to them to understand what you're doing. All you need to know is you are building your legacy. And they will see the fruits of it in your lifetime. And they will see the fruits of it when you're long gone. And that's the whole point. And so I think it's important that we do that. That we begin to consider... When I am gone, what am I leaving behind? And so there are, I'm going to just list three ways that you can, what you can do to start to begin to process and create the legacy that you want. Number one, be kind, be nice, be generous, generous, be sweet. 
be a person who people can love, right? You don't want to go around making people believe that you're the worst person to be around because when you're gone, that is what they're going to think. Oh, good grief, because that person was a challenge. Don't be a challenge. If you develop a sense of self-worth and positivity and self-esteem in yourself, then there's no reason for you to be walking around this planet doing wrong by other people, harming and hurting other people. Be kind, be good, be lovable. That way you build a legacy of people smiling when you're gone and they're happy that you were the best person that they've met and they feel a sense of loss because they want you around. Point two, if you want to start to financially set yourself up on a legacy, the time is now. Don't wait. There are all kinds of things. There's access to all kinds of information. I know I have found, you know, solace in things that I knew nothing about as a kid that I'm sure my parents knew nothing about or didn't really experiment with or try. And I said, you know what? Why not? You know, why not? Let me try some things. And I've been fruitful in some of these endeavors. And so I was brave and I jumped out and said, you know what? I'm willing to do the research, learn what I need to learn to start doing what I need to do to get good at what I'm trying to learn and begin to build the legacy that way. So be kind and do research and try different things if it's financial legacy you're trying to leave behind. And then, of course, lastly, don't wait. If it is something that you're passionate about, that your heart is just so joyed for you to do, do it. Don't allow anything or anyone, whether it's your own fear and it's yourself, or whether it's a family member, a significant other, a friend, or a foe, anybody try to stifle your ability to accomplish what you want to do. If you are truly passionate about it and it speaks to your heart, then there's nothing else that needs to be said. That's all that needs to be said is that your heart says it's where you need to go. And so move on it. Don't wait. Do it. So those are my three ways that you can start to build some shred of a legacy for yourself. The first one is be kind. Be nice. Be kind. Treat people with respect. Treat people the way you want to be treated. Love. Show love. And then that way people will love you. Number two, if it's financial legacy that you're thinking about, there are all kinds of ways to build financial resources nowadays. There are all kinds of things you can do to start to pile up the legacy of finances. And we don't have to go into that now. We can go into that, to that in another time uh, as a coaching. But there are ways you can start to build a financial legacy for yourself and for your family and for your family's family down the past. Trust me. We as black men have been conditioned to expect and to accept limited access. Nowadays, not much are holding you back. There's a plethora of knowledge. And once you got it, you got it. Once it's in your brain, it is yours and nobody can take it. So go in, get the resources you need to build what you're trying to build if your legacy is financial. And lastly, just do it. Not to quote Nike, but just do it. Don't wait. Don't allow people to hold you back. Don't allow your own personal thinking and limitations to hold you back. If it is in your heart, get it done. Get it done. Go for it. Jump. Leap. Take some faith. Faith is the ability to move forward even when you do not know what the outcome or what's in the future. We're not worried about the future. Our goal here is to live present lives. So if in this present moment, you have something that is burning on the inside of you for you to do, whether it's start a business, whether it's to go back to school, whether it is to travel the world more, whether it is to quit your job and become an artist or whatever the hell you are trying to do or want to do and your heart is telling you to do it, do it. Because you only live once. We get this go round one time. And so when we start to build the legacy, when we start to intentionally build the legacy, that's when we start to realize, you know, our dreams and our goals and, and we start to leave things behind and we can leave a legacy like Kobe, right? Where people are not focused on our negative traits. People are focused on the dynamic of the positivity that we've influenced and put out there into the world. That's why I'm here. 
That's why every week, twice a week, I sit right here in front of this camera. This is part of my legacy. I want when people to look back on this 100 years from now, they say, you know what? Wow, that must have been a good person. That must have been somebody who loved the world. And I love you. My brothers, I'm your keeper. We're each other's keeper. So we have to support and encourage each other across all barrier lines. That is what we're here for. That's part of who we are. And I feel that passionately that that's a part of my legacy. I've devoted a lot of my life, either as a teacher, either as a business owner here, other things to try to build um, that type of legacy for myself and for my, my people, my brothers, my family, my loves, you know, everybody. And so those are how you build your legacies. And, and, and while, while Kobe Bryant will be missed, while that presence that he, he left, famous or not famous, this applies to you, while that presence is no longer there physically, every ounce of the legacy, the seen and the unseen, is left behind. And there are going to be millions of people because of their encounter with Kobe Bryant, either through television, either in person, or either in conversation, that are going to be impacted by Kobe Bryant's legacy for the rest of time. He won't be forgotten. And if you notice, anybody who leaves a great legacy behind with, by, by, uh, through death, they're not forgotten. And so that's 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 what we do. That's here. This is this is this is here. Leave your legacy. Think about it. Intentionally do something to begin to build in the consciousness of the planet where you plan on going. And 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 when you leave this planet, people will always remember you. That's it. I mean, like I said, I told you guys it wasn't going to be, you know, the normal yay energy, but Hopefully you were able to, to get a sense of hope. Hopefully you were challenged to go out and do something and build a legacy. And hopefully you got the positivity. So you remember, when you come to this table, that is what you're going to get. You're going to get some love, some encouragement, some support. There will be so many people who will try to knock you down. I'm not going to be one of the people. Yes, I'll be honest always. Yes, I'll be transparent always. But at the end of the day, I'm not going to knock you and leave you. I'm going to build you. To build a fortification so we can keep going. Brothers, I love you. I love me. I love the world. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.